We didn't start off as besties. We did not? We didn't. No. I know you you loved to quote. What was the first thing I said to you? Oh, I do. I don't remember. I asked you what round you got drafted. That was the first thing you asked me. <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah, no, never Which wrong. is funny because I, e- I don't even remember that no. as our like, first memory no, together, no, but you've said it enough times no. and now it's ingrained in my head. Especially if you you know, extremely close. And then it also helps when our wives became very close friends. And then our dogs are really good friends. That's right. I think that was also a, a very big factor. <laughs> it also helps that we like each other, too. So, you know, just a big family, honestly. Yeah, it's crazy. Until you just listed all those things out loud, I didn't realize how intertwined our lives were. Really oh, are. dude, <laughs> you're not getting rid of me. You know, everyone talks about our offense and the, the versatility and the the positionless players that we have. True. It definitely is a disadvantage for the defense because they have to account for all of us all over the place. I think he's throwing Coach Shanahan's his schemes. That gets kind of fun. I feel like we all sacrifice for each other so that each one of us can have that moment, that big game, and eventually it all just comes around and we're all successful because we all do that for each other. Take off the camp for the goal line. Touchdown! This pretty talented player from Carolina, Christian McCaffrey. He's incredibly smart, but uh, I would have never known if I wasn't his teammate. His hardest critic is himself. We had a game where he scored a receiving touchdown, but the play before that, he dropped the ball. They came back to him, he scored, and he was still like, on the side, he goes, they didn't even need the second one. We wasted that play. I should have got the first one. And I love that about him. Here's this guy that was all pro at two different positions. In one year. In one year. You wouldn't be surprised if this guy kind of fooled himself and that, like, couldn't be any more opposite. Down and party, baby. Let's go. This is our fourth year with three quarterbacks. Process that for a second. I actually, that, that, I hadn't heard that stats. Oh, yeah. Let me just soak that yeah, in so for a second. Yeah, soak that in for one second. What about Brock Purdy do you think has really allowed him to step into this role with confidence? Uh, the confidence is sky high, but I would by no means would I ever say that, that he's cocky or arrogant. And I think, like we always say, like the biggest compliment you could ever give to any of us is that you're a football player. And, like, that's what I would say about Brock Brady. He's like, he's a football player, man. Like, his first hold with us in practice, someone was talking. He's like, hey, hey, I'm talking. Like, listen up. And you're just like, all right. All right. Bring it. What do you got to say, man? These are our Christmas cards we got from three of our teammates. I got a little backstory, or at least I heard Brock talking about it. He wanted, like, matching sweatshirts in front of the Christmas tree. But... Apparently the other two vetoed it, so wow. props to Brock for being in the Christmas spirit. All right, <laughs> since we're on the Christmas topic, do you have a favorite Christmas song? Have you heard Dominic the Donkey? No. Dicky dicky, hee-haw, hee-haw, Dominic the Donkey. <laughs> what is that? So it's... I'm listening to this on the way home? It's insane. You need to listen to it on the way home. And I think of that song, and it just always brings me back to like a warm, happy time. My favorite Christmas song is um, Santa Claus Coming to Town by Bruce Springsteen. Every Christmas when I was a kid, me and my local friends, we'd play tackle football out in like a foot of snow. So my dad was the all-time quarterback. He'd be slinging the rock. He'd always bring a big, like, huge speaker, and we'd just listen to Christmas music while he played football. 